Hello and welcome to the fifth video on Q data structure where we'll discuss circular Q program in C. So I request you if you are directly coming to this video kindly watch video number four where we have where we have discussed in detailed what is circular Q and what are algorithm of circular Q that is what is the algorithm to enqueue an element in a Q and what is the algorithm to dequeue an al uh, element from the uh, in a circular Q. So Hello and welcome to the fifth video on Q data structure where we'll discuss a circular Q program in using C language. So I request you if you are directly coming to this video then please watch video number four. We have where we have discussed about circular Q algorithms. We have discussed about NQ algorithm and DQ algorithm. So I have used the same algorithm exactly same algorithm and inserted in a program you can say that uh, you know I took that algorithm and inserted in my program so this is what I did, uh, did. so uh, if you're directly coming to the, uh, this video number five I request you to kindly watch the video number four because I'll go fast in this video fine okay let's start with uh, uh, circular queue first of all that what we always do is that we have created we have actually created a menu that uh, that is uh, let's start with a uh, macro that we have created a macro uh, of size you know eight that uh, if i see my uh, circular queue yes circular queue is of size 8 then I, uh, I should go back then you know the max size I've de defined uh, declared a macro of size 8 fine then I've created a queue of same size of max what is Q max that is Q8 that is Q will start from 0 to 7 fine then at starting front value is minus 1 rear value is minus 1 F is representing front and rear is representing rear pointer I have used three functions that is NQ DQ and display these are prototype or declaration of those function in function main I have used a variable ch and then what I did I used while one while one means what condition always true condition always true what is condition always true let's understand this if I if I have put something which is other than zero either you put one you put 100 you put 500 you put minus 500 you put minus two if you put anything other than zero means condition will always be true I'll go inside and there I'm having few printf print statement that is one if you press one you can nq if you press two you can dq if you press three you can display if you press four you can exit what is your choice what do you want to do uh, because i i'm uh, going to create a queue i'll nq so i pressed one so ch will have one again program is coming here then switch will have one i'll jump to case one and in case one i'm calling a function nq so i'll click click over nq function and i came here fine okay now what is happening let's see I have created this queue so you have a you have a queue here this is a circular queue of size 8 that is the current value of front is minus 1 current value of rear is minus 1 and the current value of max max will always remain same max is 8 so I'll write max over here fine okay I'll write max is 8 fine the size of Q is 8 now I've created a variable item fine that is a local variable by while F and R are global variable because they are our main function fine this local variable life is still my control is in this block till my control is in the block this item is alive the moment I come out of this block this will die but will this F and R will die no this will not die unless and until I exit from a program fine okay so till the program is running this 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 pointer will remain alive that is the current value the current value will remain unchanged fine okay let's start so I've created a variable item let's have item variable also fine so uh, what I'm doing I'm checking is R plus one is R, what is first condition to check overflow is this Q is overflow no it's Q is uh, completely empty what will happen what I'll do I'll how I'll check ma uh, overflow is R plus one what is R minus one minus one plus one is zero zero mod eight is what zero is zero equal to F what is F minus one is zero equal to minus one no condition is false so if the condition is false what will happen I'll go to the else if part is front equal to minus one yes front is minus one this means Q is empty yes then make F and R both zero so F and R both both will point to the zeroth location fine and then what I'll do I'll not go to the else part I'll ask user enter the element what do you want to enter in this empty location user said I want to enter 12 so item will have 12 and I'll save this item to the queue rear because you know insertion takes place from rear what is the value of rear zero so q zero will have 12 so here you have 12 what will happen after this you will come out of the uh, you will come out of this where uh, you will come out of this nq function the moment you come out where you will go you will go 
from where you have received the call from where you receive the call from nq what is the next line of nq break break will make you out of switch this is the block of switch the moment you come out of the switch you again find a block of while will you come out of while no because while will allow you to come out only when the condition is solved it will go again and check oh condition is again true so what will happen again you have a menu that one for nq two for dq three for display four for exit what is your choice again you press one switch case ch will have one case one in case one you have an nq function and again i'm calling an nq function fine so the current value of front becomes zero the current value of r becomes zero the moment when you insert a 12 fine okay now what happens again it will come and check first because you have called nq it will come here it will check r plus one what is the value of r now zero zero plus one is what one one mod eight is one mod eight equal to false no one mod eight is not false one mod eight one is, oh, i'm so sorry it's not false it's front is one mod eight equal to front what is one one mod eight is one and what is front zero they are not equal condition is false again it will come here is front equal to minus one no front is not not minus one this is also false it will come to the else part it will it will increment rear and i told you how increment uh, rear will be incremented r plus one mod max why mod max because after seven zero comes fine okay so what is the value of r what is the value of r zero zero plus one is what one one mod eight is what one so r will have new value one so r will move from here to here that is r will come here so the current value of r will become one i'll again ask user to enter the data suppose user has entered now 15 so uh, what i'm doing i'm inserting this item to q rear what is the value of rear one so in q the empty position where r, r is so i'll represent well, what i'll do i'll in, uh, put one in q1 i'll uh, insert 15 so 15 will come here fine okay what will happen you will again come out of this function you will again go back to the same position again suppose you have pressed one switch will have one and again you are calling nq function now what will happen again it will come here and do the same thing so let's start in increment again suppose we have inserted 17 then we have inserted 2 then we have inserted 9 then we have inserted 12 then we have inserted 13 so uh, in this case suppose i'm taking this case so what will happen so the moment i've inserted 13 the r will become 6 fine okay now what will happen again it will come out again it, somebody has called nq function again what will happen it will come here it, it will check is r plus 1 what is the current value of r 6 plus 1 is what 7 7 mod 8 is what 7 mod 8 is 7 is 7 is equal to front what is the value of front zero no seven is not equal to zero condition false is front equal to minus one no front is zero again i'll increment r to r plus one mod max what is r six plus one seven seven mod eight is what seven seven so current value of r will become seven that is r will come here and again i'll ask user what do you want to insert user said i want to insert uh, suppose 20 so what will happen item will have 20 so uh, q rear will have 20 so what will happen 20 will come here fine okay now see again you will go back again suppose somebody has pressed one when somebody has pressed one what will happen you will come in come again over here now you have current value of r is seven fine okay now what you will do you will check is r plus one what is value of r seven seven plus one is eight eight mod what is max eight eight mod eight is what zero is zero equal to front what is the value of front zero yes zero is equal to zero and you can see that you can clearly see that uh, on incrementing rear you are reaching to the place where front is already there that is where element is already there so what you will do you will print overflow that you cannot insert you will print overflow you know error message and you will return fine so this uh, this uh, particular code is working absolutely fine so I'll, I'll not explain anything this code is working absolutely fine fine okay now what will happen you will again go back now this is your condition that you have some element and the queue is already full you will again go back so you have uh, now you have received uh, uh, no overflow condition so what you will do so you are uh, where you will come you will come here break will take you out of switch but while will not let you to go out so you will again check the condition condition is true now you have again options multiple option one for nq two for dq three for display what is your choice i pressed two so uh, this ch will have two fine this switch will have two i'll now jump to case two and where i'm calling a dq function right so i'm calling a dq function now suppose so i, I have called a dq function so while when we have an n queued so our queue was full so suppose my queue was having element 9 to 7 3 12 15 18 and 20 fine so this is was the value of rear 
and this was the value of front so my queue is already full my queue is already full now somebody wants to delete something so from where deletion will take place front from front you know that insertion takes place from rear insert deletion takes place from front fine okay let's do uh, the current value of front is what the current value of front is what is the current value of front front the current value is zero what is the current value of rear rear is seven fine is front equal to minus one no condition false i'll say no front is front and r both equal no they are not equal front is zero r is this is also false i'll go to else part what i'll do at i'll delete element first this is what i told you item will have q front what is the value of front zero so what is value of q zero nine so item will have nine i'll print on the screen deleted item is equal to item and what is item nine so deleted item is equal to nine so a screen will have nine and what i'll do i'll increment front then so what will happen this nine is deleted suppose it's actually i'm saying it will not de get deleted it will remain in a array but i'm i'm giving you an example that how it's deleting now so what will happen nine with gets deleted fine okay and i'll increment front i'll how i'll increment front by the same method which where i was incrementing rear so front will have front plus one what is the value of front zero plus one one uh, one mod max uh, one mod eight is one so front new value will become one so front will come here so front will come to the first index fine so the current value of front become one what will happen you will again go back from where you have received the call from here you have received the call so what will happen you will see the next line the break break will come make you out of the switch but while will not let you to come out again you have a multiple option and suppose again you press two switch will have two in case switch will have two you come to the case two and you are calling dq function again so this is your current position now front is at one position and uh, area is at seven again you will come and check is front equal to minus one no front is not minus one front is one is front and r both are equal no sorry they are not equal so what i'll do i'll uh, delete element from front so what is q front q what is q1 values two what is what is there in q1 q so what uh, item will have nine item will have nine what item will have uh, not nine nine two so item will have two that is two. i have deleted two again i am saying it will not get deleted it will remain only front and rear pointer moves okay so what will happen i'll print on the screen deleted item is equal to item what is there in item two so screen will have two i'll feel very good and i'll increment front so what is the value of front one current value is one one plus one become two two mod eight is two so front will point to two at position and front will point here fine okay now what happened you keep on deleting you keep on deleting uh, same like that that is you keep on pressing two and two this will get deleted this will get deleted this will get deleted this will get deleted the moment you deleted all these elements what will happen front will also come to the same position front and rear now both are pointing to the seventh position fine now see again you have what happened at the same position again you have pressed what you have pressed you have pressed or two it will come here it will check is front equal to minus one no front is not minus one front is seven is front and rear equal now yes it's equal now condition become true when they are equal this means q has only one element make it sure when front and rear are equal this means q has only one element so and you are deleting that element so what will happen q will become empty so what will happen first of all delete element so item will have q front what is the value of front seven so what is the value of q seven nine twenty so item will have twenty i'll print deleted element is equal to twenty i'll feel very good and i'll make front and rear both both equal to minus one because because when front and rear were equal there were only one element and since i have deleted the element the queue is empty now then front and rear both will become minus one that both will become minus one and i've deleted this element so this was how uh, uh, this was how something was taking place or something uh, you know which was going on how to delete element uh, from uh, so i've explained everything i've explained you uh, this portion also this portion and this portion also this is how deletion takes place now what happened now there is no element in a queue now fine okay what happened you will again go back where you will go from where you have received the call you have received the call from dq current call was from dq that next line is break break will take you out from switch while will not let you out uh, so again you will go inside a while because while is true so again you have a multiple option one for nq two for dq three for display now you are used, trying to you know display the element so you press three but currently your queue is empty while you know uh, in dq i've deleted all the element so again when you press the three what will happen now what will happen now see the condition you call display function uh, no you display you will go to the display function now you came here and the queue is empty what will happen now see uh, you will check is front equal to minus one since the queue is empty front was minus one rear was also minus one this is what i told you multiple times then condition becomes true so what you will print you will print queue is empty so this is one of the fantastic condition that queue is empty but what if queue was not empty now i'm giving you example suppose something my situation was something like that here it was 
seven nine eight two twelve one uh, eighteen and thirteen that is front was zero rear was this my my q was full simply now what i did i'm giving i'm showing you something very which is very good now you deleted three element from q so what will happen front will come here fine now you have inserted two element in the queue what will happen the rear will come here i've already explained you everything so rear will come here at one position that is now suppose you have inserted 20 and you have inserted six so what real will point to the first position and front will point to the third position fine okay now this is the required condition how you will print the element if it would have been a linear queue then you did only that from starting from front that is start from front till i less than equal to rear you incremented i plus plus one and you printed what qi can you do this can you do this no you cannot do this here why why let's start why because let's see is front what is the value of i what is the value of front three fine and what is the value of rear one so what will happen what will happen see it will not print any element i will start from front yes i is three is three less than one no condition become false the moment you check condition become false and it will not print element since there are you know since there are six element in my queue but this loop will not do anything so what what will be the trick to print circular queue i'm showing you the trick so what i'm doing here i'm you know what i'm doing i'm initializing i with front i'm initializing i with front so what is the value of front front value is i'm what i'm doing front value is uh three and rear value is one fine okay now let's see now let's see what i'm doing is that i'm initializing i with front so the current value of i is three and what is the current value of rear one now in while condition i'll check three is not equal to one yes three is not equal to one while three is not equal to one what do you do you go and print qi what is the value of i three that is q3 and what is three the first element because the first element is at front position so what you will print q3 and q3 is two you will print two this tab will give you a space and how you will increment i similar in a similar way where uh, which you was using for front and rear that is i plus one what is the value of i three plus one mod eight so three plus one is four mod eight is four only so the current in the next value of i will become four again i'll go and check in while loop is 4 not equal to r that is 1 yes condition true so i'll print q4 what is the value of q4 12 so similarly i'll put uh, no, print 12 so again what i'll do i'll increment i that is what is the current value of i 4 now 4 plus 1 5 5 mod 8 is 5 so the i will become 5 and i'll print q5 q5 is 1 again i'll increment i i will become 6 so i'll print q6 that is 18 again i'll print i i'll become 7 and again i'll print 13 now see this 7 is not equal to 1 yes so this become true and i'll print what 13 what i'll do i'll again come inside now see i is equal to i plus 1 i what is i 7 7 plus 1 is what 8 8 mod what is the value of max 8 so 8 mod 8 is what 0 so the now the value of i becomes 0 so now current value of i becomes 0 fine so what you will do you will again check is 0 not equal to 1 yes 0 is not equal to 1 0 is not equal to 1 what you will do what you will do what you will do you will print q0 because condition is true so what is q0 so that is 20 you will print 20 so till now you are printing very fine so what will happen you will again increment i so i is what 0 plus 1 is 1 1 mod max is 1 so again the i will become 1 now you will check is i not equal to is i not equal to r now condition becomes false is 1 not equal to 1 no 1 is equal to false so so condition become false what you will do when the moment the moment condition becomes false what you will do you will come out of the loop so you will come out of the loop now your question is sir that's fine I have printed 2, 12, 1, 18, 13, 20, but there is 6 also. We are not printing 6. Sir, code is wrong. That is what the homework is. So what I have to do here? So I'm not giving you homework. I'm explaining. So I, you know, I have purposely removed this line. So what I have to do after coming out of while loop, you simply print what? P-R-I-N-T-F printf percentage D. What do you print? Q. What was the element which is remaining? Q-R. What is the value of r1 so what is there in q1 6 so what will happen so after printing this element and last when you come out of the loop the 6 will also get printed and you have you can see that the entire queue starting from front 
till rear every element is printed so this was all about what implementation of circular queue in c 11